Our first question is from Rock Kabako. Hey, Matt, did that break and the rest that you received make that big of a difference today? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it definitely helped. I think, you know, you go through so many struggles in, in the beginning of the, in the beginning of the season. Well, actually not in the beginning, but the, you know, the middle leading up to the break. Um, and it, it just kind of wears on you a little bit. And, uh, you know, having that in my mind, that restart where, you know, I came in today and, and I kind of put in my mind that, you know, I was starting over, um, you know, really trying to go out there and, and, you know, flip the switch on, on such a poor, uh, first half. Um, you know, obviously if you keep, if you keep, if you didn't have the break and you keep going out there, you know, it, I don't know if it would have continued or obviously I didn't want it to, but definitely having those four days off to just kind of recharge and, and, um, you know, got to see the family and, and spend some really quality time, um, with loved ones, it, it definitely helps and definitely gets your mind back into uh, into a better place where where really it's it's easy to you know flip the switch like I said and, and get uh, and get after it the second half. Savannah McCann. Hey Matt, when you're facing a former team and returning back to Coffin Stadium, is that something that crosses your mind at all, or does it just make that win feel just a little bit sweeter? Um, no, I mean it's uh, I obviously was here last year and, and had the experience from, from the world series pitching here, but, um, and it definitely helps that it's a big ballpark. I mean, you can really let it fly. I think only the only scare I really had was there in the six, um, with, with the fly ball, but, um, you know, obviously they gave me an opportunity to come here and pitch last year. And that meant so much to me. Um, you know, there, I, I still, um, have so much respect for, for this organization and what they did and they gave me an opportunity and, and, you know, so that's something I'll never forget. I don't know if, if I didn't have that opportunity to, to go play with them last year, I don't know if I'd still be playing or, or would have had the, the chance to, to be here this year. So, um, you know, that definitely, definitely means a lot that, that they gave me an opportunity and, and, uh, you know, obviously can't, can't forget the world series. So. Todd Karpovich. Hey, Matt, when you have an outing like you did today, you know, dominant performance, do you feel like you can get back to that level of consistency and be that pitcher again? Be that kind I mean, of guy that can throw late into the game? Yeah, like I've, like I've said, I mean, there's been – it seems like every outing there's there's a stretch of, of – to like there was today. I think there was, you know, some innings I'd go out and, and be dominant and, and throw two, three innings of really good baseball, and then all of a sudden the wheels fell off and – um, you know, having games like today, uh, you know, it obviously is a big confidence booster, um, knowing that it's still in there. Um, you know, you, you uh, I wouldn't say I, I, I didn't think it was, it was going to happen. I just knew it was right there. It was right on the edge. And, and, you know, obviously it's just one game. I, I have to continue to, to go out there and attack and, and mix pitches up and, and continue to do what I did today. Um, you know, throughout the second half. And obviously uh, the work has always been there. It's just a matter of executing and, and getting it done. Stan Charles. Matt, uh, congratulations on your outing today. Um, I never got to cover you when you were really in your heyday, but you're clearly a different pitcher today. The process of transition, how much smarter a pitcher is Matt Harvey today than he was back in those days? Well, I mean, when you, when you're throwing a hundred and my slider was 92, 93, and you know, there weren't a whole lot of starters in 2012 that were sustaining that velocity for that many innings and, and going out and, and having, you know, that type of stuff continues. Now it's, now it's, you know, a couple guys per, per team, it seems like are, are doing kind of what I, what I did when I uh, first started and, and, you know, it, it's hard to, um, you know, I, I obviously threw that way my entire life and, and, you know, threw the four seam a ton, threw the sliders a ton and, and was able to get away with it. And, and, you know, because of injuries and, you know, I guess just age and wear and tear and, you know, definitely the injuries, but, um, 
you know, I think, I think a lot of the, a lot of the struggles that I've had per inning are, are just, when you get into a jam, I just re revert back to, you know, those old memories of just being able to blow the heater by people or just stay fastball slider. And, and obviously, uh, you know, those days are probably old over and, and, um, you know, just have to be a lot smarter with usage and, and mix things up and, and be a little bit more fine with location. Um, you know, I think, I think back then I, I, I went inside against guys here and there, but really didn't, didn't necessarily have to, I just kind of pounded away and threw sliders off of that. And now it's, uh, now it's a different game. You know, I have to, I have to study the hitters. I have to, you know, trust the work that's, that's gone in from the, from the pitching coaches and, and, um, you know, really dive into, to pitch usage and, and, uh, you know, what guys are, are having, having troubles with. Thank you. We have time for one more question from Savannah McCann. One more for me. You and Austin Wynn seemed like you were really vibing today, being able to not shaking him off a ton. Was that just a matter of you two clicking or just when all of your pitches are working, it's easy to kind of throw what you guys are calling? No, he, I mean, he, he came up to me earlier today and he said, we're going six today. So I, I uh, you know, I guess he had, he had a good feeling and, and, um, you know, I, I didn't, uh, I think I just talked about studying hitters, you know, uh, he, he said he, he knew what they were, you know, what we needed to do. And, and we went over a couple things, but, you know, really the, the big thing with today was I, I just trusted him. You know, there was, a, there was a few times where we, um, you know, I just kind of went through signs just to go through signs to get in the hitter's head a little bit. But, but you know, everything he did, we were pretty much on the same page the whole day. And it was, uh, it was fun throwing them. That's all of our questions. Thank you for your time, Matt. And media, we'll see you tomorrow.